Hello, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese and this is Reese's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. Today we're looking at how to save my uh, tropical citrus. These are citrus that I brought back from Bangladesh last year and up until recently were alive. Not necessarily thriving, but you know, they were alive, they had leaves on them. This is my pomelo and you can see it's got these large leaves on it and look that's just come off and this is what's happening just literally over the past week it started to droop it was fine up until that point and the leaves have started to fall off there's one there that's already fallen off and uh, you can see this sort of the stem not the stem i should say the the branch uh, starting to sort of shrivel shrink and um you know i've checked this the soil it's been watered the roots don't look you know like they're rotting or anything so i'll scrape the soil back well this is orchid bark so there's plenty of air in the pot the only thing i can think of is that um it's not normally in the here this is the bathroom i brought it up here today um as a, a last resort it's normally in my living room which has got a south east facing aspect it's not on a windowsill it's f set further back from the window away from the radiator so i know it wasn't getting blasted by heat however i can only think that that's a factor in what's causing this to happen there's no sign of pests on the on the uh, tree um, the heating does come on and it doesn't stay on all day but so there are there is variation in temperature um, during the day so you know the heating might come on for an hour and the room warms up or it might uh, at night it's definitely turned off um, it's not going down to minus not in my living room but you know it can get fairly cool so I don't know what's happening. I really don't know what else to do. So I am reaching out to fellow um, citrus growers. I know one in particular is having great success with his pomelo and that's chat called, well, his channel is called Shams Gardening and Crafts. And he's got a really nice looking pomelo uh, that's in full flower and doing really well and um so a shout out to him and sham if you can give me any advice please do um i i am seriously looking at me whether to get air pots so i know sham grows um, some or if not all of his plants in air pots and he seems to be doing you know their plants um seem to be doing great so uh, yeah i need some advice maybe on what size air pots so i'm considering changing the this type of pot um you know i'll do anything really just to keep these alive because it's very hard to get hold of as i say i brought this back from bangladesh you don't not normally see pomelos for sale uh, in the uk especially um you know a tree like this um last year when I brought it back, it dropped all its leaves, and then um, it did it did grow them back, and all these little sort of twiggy things here were, you know, uh, filled with leaves. And I did do a video on that um, when it had started to sort of uh, the growth has started to uh, reappear, and obviously that's fairly recent growth. Um, I don't think it's dead uh, or it's completely dead. It has got signs of um sort of green on the on the trunk if i turn this around i did see ah there it is i did spot some little green and this is what happened last year there was like signs of growth um it started off like this so with it being further down the stem 
I don't know if this is a grafted um, pomelo or not. I can't really see any obvious signs looking looking down here. There doesn't seem to be any obvious signs of it being grafted. So, it, you know, if this growth comes back, I'm hoping that that's still pomelo and not something else. We'll be able to tell by the leaves. I mean, pomelo leaves, look at the size of them. They are pretty big and they have a, a, a sort of a big sort of heart shape, upside down heart, if you look at it that way. Um, broad petiole, unlike, uh, say, a lemon or an orange, which would have quite a narrow sort of um, petiole. So pomelo and the leaves themselves are quite big and they're not pointed, sort of like a roundish um, edge to them. So if the leaves do come back the same, at least I know it's, it's still a pomelo. And there's another leaf there. So that's one way of telling. Uh, I've never had flowers off this one, so um, I, I, at this point I just want to keep it alive. So as much advice as possible, folks, citrus growers, especially the tropical citrus growers, um, try and help me here. Uh, this, I think I've, no, I've not featured this a lot. This is a Malta um, in Bangladesh. It's a type of mandarin. And this one I bought from a nursery in Bangladesh. And he said it was a Vietnamese Malta, um, probably an imported. Uh, and this is definitely a graft, definitely a grafted one. You can see there, that's where the rootstock is. But this part, I think sadly it's my fault that this has happened because when I got it, the graft was bound by tape, sort of plastic polythene tape. <coughs> Excuse me. And I didn't take that tape off, I just left it on. And you can see there, I only noticed that recently as it started to die. I was looking where the dieback was going and it was up to this point here. And you can see the tape has cut in where the, the stem has started to expand and it couldn't, it was so tightly bound and that has basically killed off this point and actually it's got it's affected probably the flow couldn't go any further and it's killed off this so up and up to the uh, graft the I think they call it the union um, that's the point where it's dead so I'm gonna have to cut that off the rootstock I have no idea what rootstock it is I know that they use pomelo roots as a rootstock for um, citrus macrotera or shatkara. Whether it's used or it's just another type of orange, a Bangladeshi orange, um, who knows. Until, I mean, this is still green, so I'm hopeful that I'll have some citrus, a citrus of some sort. Uh, you can see there's little tiny little bits of growth happening so fingers crossed so keeping it in the bathroom as a last resort this does get a bit steamy in here but I, you know I, I open the window someone's had a shower we've got a fan up in the ceiling um, so it doesn't have too much condensation so it's cooler in here I mean it does get as I say it gets a little bit steamy if somebody's had a shower or a bath um, but the window is kept open so it's sort of breezy cooler in here now whether that will help or not I don't know um, as I say I'm thinking seriously of getting some air pots and I would like advice on what size uh, if anyone can recommend what size they think I should be looking for for the pomelo for the mandarin and this is the citrus macrotera which I recently featured the Shatkara. Um, this this is one of two. The, the other one the, has completely died at the graft. So this is the graft here. You can see where it's sort of, I think they call it a, a V or sort of a wedge type of graft. So 
you can see there where it sort of slots into this rootstock so it's still green so I'm hopeful that this is not completely dead and that it will grow back otherwise I'll end up with probably another pomelo um, I did mention it in the Shatkara um, video um, and I put a little clip of this chap who um, on his channel in Bangladesh where I think it's Citrus Institute they have very large Shatkara trees and they supply the nurseries and the chap mentioned that they use pomelo as their root rootstock but um, I'm hoping you can see there's a leaf there I'm hoping it, it it won't come to that so there's citrus macrotera leaf a bit shriveled but you can see it's a bit like a macroot lime um, so it's a, a distinct sort of double wing so the petiole is as large as the actual leaf itself so it, it's a bit shriveled this so it's a bit hard to show you but yes it looks like it's been pinched in the middle uh, it's like, like it's got a pinched waistline but um yeah, so I do want to keep these citrus. I don't want to give up on them. As I say, it's very hard to get hold of these uh, particular citrus, uh, Bangladeshi citrus here in the UK. You can grow them from seed. Take a long time for them to grow, especially um, citrus macrotera. It's a very slow grower as it is. So please, um, any advice uh, would be welcome. And let me know what size pots because I want to get air pots for all three of these um, so whether I need like maybe that needs like a, a two litre perhaps that needs like a four both of these perhaps maybe four or five litre pots uh, let me know so thanks very much for watching everyone please like and subscribe share with your friends take care bye bye